Now we will be learning how to use prime factors to actually solve for questions that is asking for a perfect square and a perfect cube. Okay, so first thing first, let's take a take take note. Okay, now perfect square means that your powers of your prime factors they have to be a multiple of two. Okay, what is the common mistake that students always make? Okay, please take note. Ah, uh, this means that your powers are multiples of two, not prime factors are multiples of two. Okay. Now, very commonly, I will have students writing these, these things and in your statements. Okay, please be really mindful about that. Now then, let's move on. Let's take a look at how to solve this question. Now, step one. Use the ladder method. You have 15 divided by 5. You'll get a 3. Okay, do the same thing for 3, 7, 5. You have 5, 75 divided by 5. You'll get 15 divided by 5. And then you'll get 3 and 1. Right? So this tells you 15 times 3, 7, 5 would give you a 5 times 3, which is over here, times 5 times 5 to the power of 3 times 3, which is over here. Combine them together, you get 5 to the power of 4 times 3 to the power of 2. Can you see that the powers over here, they are both multiples of 2, correct? Okay, so multiples of 2 tells you that they are a perfect square. Okay, so you will write your statement okay most of most commonly students will just leave your answers as such okay this is wrong because the question is asking you to explain why so make sure to write your statement okay how do you actually answer this statement you will say okay if they ask you to explain why is this a perfect square you will say this is a perfect square because okay so 15 times 375 is a perfect square all right because because it's prime factors Right, they have powers, have powers that are that are multiples of two. Okay, so always take note that you must and you have to write that the powers are multiples of two. Okay, now next, what is the common mistake that students will always make here? Okay, to actually highlight uh, if you actually belong to this group of students. Now, when you do your ladder method, especially if you are given a very big number. Okay, you might be lazy, right? Because you have to divide and then you have to write so many workings. So, what are the common things that I will see? I will see that students will write their answers like that. Okay, am I saying that it's wrong? No, it's not wrong. But please make sure to actually account for the number at the bottom. Okay, because normally when you do your long, your uh, letter method, you will actually have to get a 1 at the bottom. So, if let's say you are writing this answer as just 5 to the power of 3, okay, you are wrong. Okay, this is a wrong answer. Okay, so what do you do to actually avoid these kind of careless mistakes? Always remember to press your calculator and check. Okay, check. If let's say 5 to the power of 3 is equal to 375, obviously you will not get the correct answer. So what does this tell you? It tells you that 375 equals to 5 to the power of 3 times 3. So check answer. Remember, okay, don't make careless mistakes like this. Now once done, let's move on to part 2. Okay, now part 2, they are asking you, to solve for k such that this 15 times 375 times k is a perfect cube. Now let's take a look at the step first step. Okay, use back the numbers that you have found previously, which is 5 to the power of 4 times 3, 2 to the power, 3 to the power of 3 to the power 3 times 3. Okay, 3 to the power of 2. Then you have to multiply by a k. Now this tells you that you want this number to be a perfect cube. What does perfect cube mean? Perfect cube means that you want the powers to be a multiple of 3. Okay, so what do you actually need to do? I want it such that, alright, I'll eventually get a 5 to the power of 6 times 3 to the power of 3. Why? Because by doing so, my powers are multiples of 3. Can you see? Okay, so what does this actually mean? Now, important, ah, okay, you have to multiply this by 3 and multiply this by 5 to the power of 2. Okay, so let's take a look at step 2. Alright, now step 2 Okay, let me, let me bring it across here. Huh? Now, step 2, this means that k would be 5 to the power of 2 times 3. Is this the end of your answer? No. Huh? So, please be really mindful. Okay, If the question asks you to express your answer, okay, express your answer in index notation or in prime factors, then you leave your answer like that. If not, please press your calculator and solve for k. Because why? They're asking you for K, so better solve it. Okay, now, then let's take a look at part 3. 
Okay, part three, what do I have here? Right? So part three. They are asking for P and Q, they are both prime numbers. Find the values of P and Q such that 15 times 375 times P and Q is a perfect cube. Again, perfect cube means that your multiples have to be in uh, your powers have to be multiples of three. Right? So what does this mean? Use back 15 times 375. Okay, so step one. 15 times 375 times P divided by Q. Okay, you must take note of what the question gives you. Okay, the question do not write things that are unnecessary. Okay, they give you things because they want you to use it. Right, so P and Q, they must be prime factors. P and Q, they must be prime factors. Now, what does prime factors mean? It means that they cannot be powers. This is wrong. They cannot be 3 to the power of 2 as well. Why? Because 5 to the power of 2 gives you 25. 3 to the power of 2 gives you 9. Are they prime factors? No. So this narrows your working. It tells you that, oh, okay, so right now I have only 5 and 3. So what do I do? Okay, I know that this is 15. Okay, 15, which will give me, which will give me 5 to the power of 4 times 3 to the power of 2. Extract this from part 1. Okay, you will need to multiply by what? Multiply by, okay, a 3 as well as a 5. Okay, now divided by 5. So you multiply by a 3 divided by 5. Now, why does that work? Because if you take a look over here, 3 to the power of 2 times 3 will eventually give you a 3 to the power of 3. Now, 5 over 4 divided by a 5 would give you a 5 to the power of 3. So this tells you that eventually you will get a 3, 5 to the power of 3 and 3 to the power of 3. Are both of these numbers with powers that are multiples of 3? Yes. Okay. So therefore, you will get your answer this way. Okay, now is this the end of that question? No. Ah. So please be really mindful. Step 2. Express your answer in terms of P equals to 3 and Q equals to 5. Okay, now some students, you might be a little bit confused. You might doubt yourself at the end. Am I really correct? Okay, so again, check your answer. What do I mean by check your answer? Now, if you're asking for a perfect cube, you know that perfect cube, okay, means that you are able to cube root it. So then do the same thing. Press into your calculator, cube root, 15 times 375, okay, 375 multiplied by 3 divided by 5. Are you able to cube root this? If this gives you a whole number, it means that you are correct. Okay, so please make sure to actually check your answer whenever you are doing and take note of all the errors that you know you are, you are more likely to actually make. So to actually help you solve your questions in due time.